Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, sound healing session, or tarot class, all that will be in the description down below, Aquarius. So let us see what we have. You're going to pull some, some of these cards first, then we'll get into the tarot. But let's see what's, what's going on for you. Marriage card keeps wanting to come out, Aquarius. <laughs> let's see. We have number 26 with great fortune. This is going to be your first card. This is the great fortune card. And then we have number 18 with child. And for your last card, we have number 15 with lovers. So we have love, we have fortune, and we have a child. Aquarius. All right. Let's get some tarot cards now. We have someone here being sneaky. Yeah, we have someone here that's a traitor, Aquarius. We have someone here that owes you something, Aquarius. We have Queen of Cups, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have a Knight of Pentacles. You've got your person, you, you've got your heart blocked off to whoever this traitor is, Aquarius. All right. High Priestess can be a Pisces. Female Pisces here, Queen of Cups, High Priestess, King of Pentacles. Here, Aquarius, maybe you have Earth placements in your chart, but I feel like there's someone here who betrayed you who owes you something, Aquarius, and I feel like it's female Pisces. Queen of Cups, High Priestess. And I feel like you're very blocked off to this person. They may try to offer you something, like money or whatever, but... I wouldn't trust them, Aquarius. You have the Page of Swords. You have the Seven of Cups. You have Four of Wands, Aquarius. Maybe coming together with somebody. You have a Strength card. You're getting all armored up, Aquarius. We have someone here that's going to try to offer you something can be a union. You have the magician. I feel like we have someone here trying to manifest you. We have a devil. And then we have a knight of cups. We have someone here trying to come in and offer you some sort of perfect union. But I feel like you already know this person's bullcrap. Because I see you being armored up when they approach you. Here you got your armor. You got your sword, Aquarius. Alright. I'm going to try to offer you some sort of union. All right, this is something they've been trying to manifest. It can be a Capricorn here, Aquarius, but they they just they're they're full of crap, Aquarius. They can't offer you anything. All right, they can't even do it. <laughs> they're trying to offer you something they can't offer you, Aquarius. It doesn't exist. It's just a bunch of bull crap. That's what it is. have the Empress. You're in this Empress mode here, Aquarius. We have you, this Hierophant. You're stepping into new territories, Aquarius. You're in this Empress mode. You're moving forward. There could be some big contracts coming up for you that's something new. We have the Moon Goddess that you're connecting to, Aquarius. We have you about to receive a bunch of gifts. This could be money. This could be donations. This could be clients coming in, Aquarius. But I do feel like there is something big coming up for you. That it, It's something new that you're stepping into. It's something the moon goddess is bringing you, Aquarius. It almost feels like business-wise. We have the queen of cups. We have water. Hangman. Knight of cups. We have someone here in their emotions for you, in their feelings for you. I feel like whoever that was that betrayed you before, they're being put in the hangman position so that they can't approach you with more bull crap here, Aquarius, but I feel like we have big things coming up for you business-wise. Right. 
We have a ten of cups. Do something big. Something good. We have karma, but I feel like it's good karma. Aquarius. White candles are also significant. Look, your ships are coming in, Aquarius. Been doing some planning. Been doing some networking. It's all coming in here. Maybe you're some sort of healer, Aquarius. Oh, we have you working on some things. Can be some drop. Uh, I can't speak right. Some projects. Can be a house, Aquarius. Because we do have like a building here. We have the hermit. Maybe you have Virgo placements in your chart, Aquarius. But I feel like you are some sort of healer. You heal people. You're very single. You're very independent. Okay. We have, look, this is your own card. We have a star card, Aquarius. It is your own card. You know what? We have a star coming up. So we're going to get a star message. Number six with the Amazon Queen, Battle. I'm a devoted warrior of the universe. So Aquarius, this is yourself here. Okay? I feel like this is you, Aquarius. You're like this warrior. You're this spiritual warrior and you're this spiritual healer all at the same time. So you have a lot of power here, Aquarius. Look. We have a lover's. See, we have little these little angels here trying to bring you and a person together. We have the three of wands. Could be someone here with Leo placements in their chart, Aquarius. But we do have love. And your one of your first three cards was the lovers, Aquarius. We have a new beginning. Look at you. This could be happening in spring. It's kind of like a spring looking card. You know, we have all the flowers blooming, whatever. We have someone here that's like a hard worker, Aquarius. We have a two of swords. We have a magician. So once again, this is like the second time the magician is coming out for you. Aquarius, I feel like even if you were in a relationship, you'd still have your own independence because I feel like that's something that's still important to you. And I do feel like your business is going to be growing. You're going to be having... Big things coming up for you where you're going to have a lot of treasure. You're going to have a lot of money, Aquarius. You're going to have a lot of food. Look, you're going to be in a nice place in life, Aquarius. You have a death card. You have a five of swords. The hangman. See, there's someone here that tried to act cruel to you that's being put in the hangman position, Aquarius, until they get enlightenment, until they get, until they get what they've done wrong. All right? Which may be a while because I feel like this is a person that kind of doesn't really learn. We have someone here that's carrying a lot, Aquarius, carrying a lot of weight, carrying a lot of responsibility. We have the death card. This is the second time the death card has come out now. Now we have heavy Scorpio here. So either you have Scorpio placements in your chart or one around you. Almost looks like you got your sword pointing at someone. Once again, Aquarius, why is that? Oh, look, you got victory, Aquarius. <laughs> we have a surprise message coming in, okay? You're going to have victory because you have a surprise message coming in from somebody. We have a hangman, once again. Emperor. Now we have Aries. Can be from Aries, Pisces, Scorpio. Those are signs that we have here. Oh, we have someone here that's watching you like a wolf. Seven of Wands. I feel like that's why you have your sword pointed at somebody. There's somebody here watching you that's waiting to like strike right Aquarius but you're gonna have victory because I feel like you're already expecting this person you got your sword raised about to like strike them before they strike you Aquarius but I do also feel like you have a surprise message coming in from somebody else someone here who's like wanting to be of assistance to you or an ally or reach out in some friendly way and that's victory so Aquarius that's all I have for you if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.